Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to do part two of a devotion called Purpose Beyond Our Baggage. Now last time I told you we were in Mark chapter 5 um, talking about the woman with the issue of blood. I talked about how this woman had become known for her issue. She was defined by her issue and how we also have allowed our past to define who we are in our present and in our future. You know, but her issue, it did more than just define her. Her issue also disqualified her. Uh, because of the state of her disease, her sickness, she could not worship. She was not allowed to enter the temple to pursue a relationship with her heavenly father. Because of her state, her, her illness, she could not enter into relationships. She was not allowed to have relations with her husband or with her children. You know, Leviticus chapter 15 verses 25 and 20 through 27 says that everything and everyone that she touched would be unclean. So she was cut off from God and from man. She was cut off from meaningful relationships and service. She was in reality disqualified by her issue. And it sounds like many of us, because of our issue, we feel disqualified um, from everything and from everyone. You know, I can't worship because what's happening in my life. I can't serve. I can't pray. I can't impact anyone. I can't do anything for God or for man because of what has happened to me. I am unable to fulfill my destiny because of my issue. So I am cut off. Can I just tell you that no one is qualified on our own? No one. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 27 through 29 and I'm reading out of the message this time it says, "Isn't it obvious that God deliberately chose men and women that the culture overlooks and exploits and abuses, chose these nobodies to expose the hollow pretensions of the somebodies. That makes it quite clear that none of you can get by with blowing your own horn before God. Everything that we have, right thinking and right living, a clean state and a fresh start, comes from God by way of Jesus Christ. God deliberately chose men and women that culture overlooks, that culture exploits and abuses. And then John chapter 15 and verse 16 says, you didn't choose me. Remember, I chose you and put you in the world to bear fruit, fruit that won't spoil. As fruit bearers, whatever you ask the father in relation to me, he gives you. We didn't choose him. He chose us in our state of disqualification. He chose us. He is the one who qualifies us. So get this into your heart and into your mind. Your past, your baggage does not disqualify you from living. It does not disqualify you from fulfilling your purpose, your God-given purpose. God chose you. And he continues to choose you and nothing and no one can ever change that. So something for you to think about until we meet up again tomorrow is what are you holding on to from the past that you have allowed to rule over your present and your future? And how can you begin to let those things go? so that you bec can become a part of what God is wanting to do in this moment. Until next time, God bless.